welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Hobbits and Jakob Lohmoltz. And today we are reviewing a beer from Italy. It's gonna be my first ever Italian craft... Oh, no, it's not gonna be actually. It's gonna be the first ever Italian craft beer that I review. Because I've had some Revelation cat beers, uh, but that's it. This is from Birra del Borgo, kindly sent to me by Leonardo, the head brewer, or brewer, and owner of Birra del Borgo. And the brewery is like just outside of Rome. I don't remember the name of the place. And uh, he sent me this cool little pamphlet that like talks a little bit about the different beers and the beers he sent me. And yeah, they started out in 2005. So, but this here is like a specialty grain ale uh, on 6.1 percent alcohol, and it's called Enkia. In yeah, I'm gonna say Enkia. I don't know how to pronounce it in uh, in Italian. And usually you don't think uh, beer when you think Italy, but Italy has had a huge craft beer revolution, um, so that's why I, think, I thought it would be really interesting to try uh, some Italian craft beer. And it says here, Inkia, spicy, fruity and unique, soft, elegant and, elegant and refined, a beer made in collaboration with the Marino brothers and Gabriel Bonsi, produced with one of the oldest grains known to mankind, the Inkia, an ancestor of our modern wheat, unique for its bouquet. And then it says you should serve it around 12 to 14 degrees. Pure del Borgo, Italian craft beer. Uh, yeah, I think we've been rambling enough, enough, so let's get it cracked open. It's got like plastic on here, just like uh, some of uh, yeah, crap. Some of uh, the beers I reviewed, we reviewed from. Uh, from. Um, wow, that was very different <laughs> looking cap. Look at yeah. that. I think that might be to like seal it properly or something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, look at that. That was like underneath the cap. Which yeah. is huge. <laughs> yeah. That's probably to seal it properly or something like that. But, well, I could really smell the fruity bouquet from, from opening it. Let's get it poured here. Is it this tulip wine glass? What would you call the color on that? Golden. <laughs> yeah, golden yellow. Yeah. Nice and hazy too. I didn't get any yeast chunks in there, how about you? Nope. I can smell it already. Yes. Yeah. Pretty nice actually. Very fruity. Very fruity. Very fruity. I think they said fruity too. Said, said spicy. Do you know what it reminds me a little of a cross between a Hefeweizen and a, a Wittbier maybe? Yeah. Because I, uh, I get subtle spice like a cloviness, some banana notes. Definitely that wheaty cereal. Yeah. What about you? I don't know, I think there's some... Korean, coriander? Yeah, coriander. Yeah. The, the spice too. Else there's a lot of weedy kind of from the Hefeweizen style beer. It's very, very fruity. I also get citrus. Well, nice, actually. It's good to taste. Cheers. Cheers. That's a summer beer for sure. Really refreshing. That's really refreshing. It's not that complex no. uh, at all. Um, it's very, very sweet. And I guess that sweetness is from the the Enkia wheat. This is an ancestor to modern wheat, yeah. I guess that's from the Enkia that, that gives it that taste. And the thing is that Birre del Borgo, um, uh, Leonardo really likes to brew beers with like special ingredients because they also have one with the Genciana root and all all kinds of other weird uh, ingredients which is kind of cool uh, Castagnale which is also brewed with which is like brewed with chestnuts uh, and they he does a lot of that a uh, lot of beers mm -hmm. brewed with different uh, ingredients light to medium it has a creamy feel to it yeah, but it's not. It's not creamy like in the imperial no, style. But there's a. I think it's from the wheat straw. The, the Enkia. starch. Yeah, yeah. Um, slightly powdery taste to it too, but it's really sweet. Um, in yeah. a sweet, I get a sweet banana, maybe orangey kind of flavor. Yeah. Spice is way more subtle in the flavor than in the aroma. Yeah. There is some of it. There is also some of that. Some like a yeasty component. Uh, sometimes, it reminds me a little bit of. Of yogurt, uh, yeah. I don't think it's because it's like this. Uh, um, what's the milk bacteria called? Lactose. Yeah, lactose. I don't think it's there's lactose in here at all. But I get like a sometimes do that in beers with lactose or milk sugars or something like that. I get 
an almost yogurty flavor. But I guess that it's from the yeast in this one. Yeah. It's got the banana notes, ripe banana, uh, orangey. I mean, it's not super complex. It's not overly exciting. <laughs> exciting, but it's really nice for a hot summer's day. Yeah. I think. Uh, Raining wise, I mean, I'm gonna give it a 70. It's good. I'm hoping that uh, the other ones are gonna be uh, better. I've heard that the Genziana should be really good, and also the barley wine sent me called Sidi Sigradi. I think it's called. So yeah, what about you, Jacob? I'm landing at 66. It's, it's really good. Uh, it's not the best of the best, but it's it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah, I'd say it's worth picking up a bottle of it, it's especially here in the uh, summer heat. Yeah, because it's a nice summer brew. So yeah, guys, that's it for this review. A 70 from me, a 66 from Jacob for the Bira del Bago Enkia. Their Specialty grain ale that's brewed with Enkia, an ancient form of wheat. And yeah, guys, let us know what you think of it if you've had it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we'll see you in another beer review.